it in the family. But we're talking mezcal, which is a uh, mezcal is a is a Mexican liquor. Well, comes from Oaxaca, and it's it's a tequila is a type of mezcal. A mezcal is a real mezcal is much more smoky. What they do is they take the the agave and they bury it, bury it in the dirt and they 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 basically smoke it before they distill it like how drinks are born are really interesting for me like it's kind of like the port. scotch you know of port, tequila you, know you would know what a scotch is port. Right. yeah there's a there's port. Port. port yes but it's not yeah. smoke port isn't smoke there's either. a whole fucking thing that like you're go, you're missing shit. though i get it i and i'm, I'm very interested in, no no I'm, I'm, I'm interested in what you're saying but i'm interested in the the discovery of drinks like you're saying mm -hmm. that Tequila might have something to do with how mezcal was started. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. So, like, it's the same with port. Port was, um, as I hear it, and it might be fucking false, but port was, um, there was a ship that was traveling to Portugal. And then in, inside the ship, they had barrels of brandy and barrels of rum. I'm not sure what... It's what it makes together. Isn't port fortified wine, or am I just making it? So, wine, so yeah. yes, they had wine and fortified. But why is it called yeah. port? Yeah. Is it so here, port be, because port should go? Because they had a ship who was traveling to Portugal, and they had wine on ship, and they also had fucking um, brandy. This ship had an accident where all the things smashed together and they try to save as much of it as they could. And they had the wine mixing with the brandy and they were like, oh, this is great, let's call it port, which is what? short for Portugal. <laughs> yes. And that's how, they were sorry. like, that's how Portugal, because before that's they how, that's died, port all port. they can get was port. Yeah. And they died, and this port was the well, only guy, and they all fell in the ocean. And they tried and they to died. say, oh, we're in port. <laughs> but port was the only thing that came now. out of their mouth. Yeah. If that's the case, then that's fun. I love because it. Because amazing. That's a great, I don't know how true it is, but that's I a don't great know. No, he's not know, saying that. Do you know, that. wait, do you guys know the story of how gin and tonics Where's came to be? Secret? No, how So that? gin and tonics, gin and tonics date back to, I don't know what war was. I think maybe it was World War One. And um, the soldiers in the British Army were uh, prescribed like a daily dose of quinine, which I don't know if you know what quinine yes, is. Quinine, quinine, that's whatever. tonic. That's what they get. Yeah, tonic. it's what they make. Yep. It's horribly, yep. horribly bitter, but it's really it good for you. It comes from a root, I think. It's I'm like not sure really what it comes bitter from. It's bitter fucking as, root. It's bitter as yeah. fuck, but it's a really, it's really a great antiseptic. It's a root in the ground, yeah. I and don't so, know, yeah. And so they fucking, <clears throat> the whole soldiers came to hate this daily dose of quinine that they had to take, and then they, they were like, let's they dress put it up some with some gin in it. So they knocked some gin into it, <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> this right makes it drinkable. Like, I love it. Yeah, and, and so the gin and tonic was born. <laughs> so one of my, one of my favorite things that. to think about it's is so how bad. things ha had, had started. Like, one of the most expensive coffees in the world is what I could only describe as cat shit coffee. Cat because, shit coffee? Yeah, because it comes direct from a cat's... So, there, there's this I can't tell you what coffee no, no, tastes wait, like. Wait, wait, are you, you saying that people have turned cat shit into coffee? Is that do what you're you trying to say? Do you not know about cat shit coffee? No, I do not. That's not what please is classified as. <laughs> if you're listening to this and you know the name of it, please fucking tell me. I don't fucking know what it is. But there is a place in the world. We'll hear it, I'm sure. That cats eat coffee beans and then shit out the fucking produce. And then people take that and make the most expensive coffee in the world. And this is what it is. It's it's coffee that has been passed through cats. And y'all could look at me like this. You could do that funny face. You could be like, mm, inquisitive. But inquisitive. what it is, is, is uh, fucking true. Like the most expensive cat coffee. Have you had it? Coffee. Have you had it? I have not. But I have. Then don't not talk had the to me until you've it. had it. I've not had the money to have it. Doesn't Wait, you mean need it doesn't to have money. Buy, I will buy it for you, and when you drink it, then you but can talk about it. My favorite thing about you're this not going to you're not going to drink cat shit coffee. Is this? <laughs> I know it. How jonesing do you have to be 